Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Cardenides.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic, looking at the categorical relation of subalternation. Now, subalternation is the relationship where truth flows in one direction, but falsehood flows in the other direction. In this case, truth flows downward, falsehood flows up. So, this relation exists between A and I statements, because if for Aristotle, all S R P, then it will be the case that some S R P truth flows downward from A to the I. However, if it is not the case that some S R P, if we deny our I statement, that falsehood of the I statement will flow up to the A. So if it's not the case that the I statement, it's not going to be the case of the A statement. Because if that X in the middle doesn't exist, then that X in the middle won't be able to exist for either I or the A statement. So the A statement will be false. We can make arguments like it is not the case that some SRP, therefore it is not the case that all SRP, that's falsehood flowing up, and all SRP, therefore some SRP, that's truth flowing down. This relationship also exists between E and O statements. No SRP, from that we can conclude that some S are not P, that was truth flowing downward. However, if it is not the case that some S are not P, then it cannot be the case that no S R P because we need that X that something to exist in that P only area for that E statement to be true. So truth flows downward, falsehood flows up. Similarly, we can make some arguments with this. No S R P, therefore some S are not P, truth flowing down. It is not the case that some S are not P, therefore it is not the case that no S R P, falsehood flowing up. That was the relation of subalternation. Next up is the traditional square of opposition. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.